Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture on logic synthesis with Verilog HDL. First of all, what is logic synthesis? Logic synthesis is a process of converting a high level description into optimized gate level representation by using a standard cell library and certain design constraints are going to be considered. The logic synthesis is that it is a process of converting high level description of the design into optimized gate level representation. And what is a standard cell library then? Standard cell library will be having cells such as logic gates or uh, it may consisting of some macro cells such as adders, muxes or uh, sometimes it is it can be a flip flop. And standard cell library is known as technology library. Depending on the fabrication technology, what we are going to use uh, with respect to that, a standard library is going to be set. And uh, designers mind as the logic synthesis tool. How the designer is going to convert an high level description into optimized gate level description without uh, having any computer aided design tool to do that right the first thing is that architectural description any design will be having a architectural description first and depending on uh, the design what a designer is going to do he is going to divide that into high level blocks he is going to divide that further into logic blocks we can say and once it is partitioned into the high level blocks then it is a designer mind to consider the design constraints and by considering the available standard cell library with respect to the technology he is going to convert that high level design into gate level representation and once a gate level representation is done once he convert the high level description into gate level representation he need to check whether it meets the design constraints whether it meets the area timing and power constraints if it is, if it is not going to meet the constraints again a designer is going to write it on a paper uh, the optimized gate level representation you need to redesign the gate level structure for the same high level design block if again he is going to check whether that is going to meet the design constraint or not if it is going to meet the design constraint then that will be the optimized level of representation if it fails again he is to go back and has to write the other type of gate level representation this is how the manual uh, work goes if there is no automated tool to convert an high level description into a gate level representation here we can observe this is the designer mind he is to remember the design constraints and with respect to the standard cell library available he to convert into gate level representation and once it is written you need to check manually whether it meets the design constraints or not and then once it meets the constraints the optimized gate level representation will come and how it will be if it is a computer aided design in place of a manual conversion if we have a computer aided logic synthesis what it is going to do uh, again come back to the first step there will be an architectural description for the design and that will be divided into high level description or behavioral description under that we will be having a logic synthesis once the behavioral description is written or the rtl is written uh, we are going to do the logic synthesis here a computer aided logic synthesis process we are looking at a computer will be there uh, that is going to convert our high level description to optimize gate level netlist here this computer aided logic synthesis tool is going to uh, have a design constraint and also a standard cell library depending on these two it is going to convert into gate level netlist and this will be the optimized gate level netlist and again here we are going to check whether it will meet the constraints or not if no we can change the high level description itself we can change the way of 
RTL representation itself and again we are going to write the uh, we are going to do the logic synthesis process and once it meets then it will be a place and route here designer need not worry about the gate level netlist conversion here the designer is to worry about the RTL if it is any requirement we need to change in the RTL representation itself and what is the impact of that logic synthesis what happens if there is uh, what are all the problems or the limitations faced by the designers when there is no automated tool to convert a logic synthesis uh, uh, sorry RTL into gate level description sorry gate level structure the first thing is that a small gate missed somewhere would mean a redesign of entire block if a small gate is going to be missed out a designer has to redesign the entire block so that it is going to give an error the designer could never be sure the design constraint were going to be made until the complete gate level implementation was tested and a significant portion of the design cycle was dominated by the time taken to convert the high level into gates. The maximum portion of uh, the significant portion of the design cycle is going to be uh, dominated by this process. And if the gate level design doesn't meet the requirements, again the turnaround time for the redesign blocks is very high. And the very important thing is that what if scenarios means uh, a designer is uh, having a design which is which could run in a cycle time of 20 nanoseconds he need to check whether it can be optimized for 15 nanoseconds in this case the entire block has to be redesigned thus redesign need uh, need to verify what if scenarios here designer want to redesign the entire circuit so that it can run for 15 nanoseconds it is again a time consuming process and each designer would implement uh, design blocks differently there was little consistency in design styles for large designs this uh, could mean that smaller blocks were optimized but overall design will not be optimal and if a bug was found in the final gate level design it would sometimes require redesign of thousand gates also and again timing area and power dissipation in the library cells uh, yeah. fabrication technology specific that is what uh, fabrication technology specific in the sense with respect to the fabrication technology what we are going to use at the fabrication level depending on that uh, we need to have it constraints thus if the company is going to change the fabrication vendor after the gate level was completed Again, the designer has to redesign the entire circuit and possible change in the design methodology also. Again, it consumes much time. And design reuse was not possible at all. Since the designer is going to write uh, gate level uh, on a sheet of paper and he need to check to meet the constraints, redesign of that particular thing is not possible. And automated logic synthesis tool, if we adopt an automated logic synthesis tool, this will address the problems what we have discussed so far. How it will be? High level design is less prone to human error. Human error will not be occurred here. And high level design is done without significant concern about design constraints. And logic synthesis will convert high level design to gate level netlist and ensure all constraints have been made and if not designer go back and modify the high level design means the behavioral level we are going to change until the gate level netlist satisfies timing area as well as power constraints and conversion will be very fast in the logic synthesis it is going to convert high level to gates very fast and turnaround time for the redesign of blocks is very shorter because Changes are required in RTL level itself. And then uh, design is simply resynthesized to the gate level netlist once again. And what if scenarios? 
if you need to change the timing constraint from 20 to 15 it is just a change the timing constraints as 15 and rerun the synthesis so that optimized uh, netlist is going to be achieved for the 15 nanoseconds and logic synthesis tool optimizes the design as a whole and this removes the problem with the varied designer styles if the designer is going to vary synthesis tool is going to give the optimized uh, design as a whole and if a bug is going to found in the gate level dis uh, design the designer go back to change the high level description to eliminate the bug means in the rtl itself then high level description is again read into logic synthesis tool automatically to generate the gate level description and logic synthesis allow technology independent design even if the ic fabrication technology uh, changes uh, accordingly it is going to synthesize our rtl into gate level netlist and design reuse is possible here okay uh, for example if the functionality of io block in a microprocessor does not change the rtl description of the io block can be reused in the design of uh, derivative microprocess if the technology changes the synthesis tool simply maps to the design technology these are uh, the advancement in the logic synthesis tool if we use the automated logic synthesis and these are the problems or the limitations of the logic synthesis which uh, a designer is going to face if you do manual and this is the computer aided logic synthesis where the optimized gate list is generated by the computer itself and then we are going to check the whether it is meeting the constraints or not and if it fails we are going to change in the rtl description itself but in the manual mode designer has to rethink for the same rtl designer to rethink for the same rtl he is going to write the gate level representation again he is going to check the mating constraints if it is yes that will be the optimized representation if it is no again he is not going to change the rtl he is just changing the gate level representation